Hey there everybody, it's Steve and you are looking at my pickups from yard sailing and thrifting for the week of April 24th, I think. Anyway, we're going to take a quick look at everything we got and explain to you how the deals came to be and why I did some of the things I did. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to start in no particular order. Um, I'll probably start, uh, since I did my thrifting on Friday and my yard sales on Saturday, I'll start over here on the right. Um, I, show, I did a, a short on YouTube for these. Uh, these are Squishmallows, um, new with tags. Uh, picked them up for 99 cents a piece at Goodwill. Um, they sell for about $15, $16 a piece, maybe $20. Um, there's an Eeyore. Um, I don't know the names of some of these, fortunately, they write them on the tags. This is Eric. Apparently these are rare. And then of course, you can never go wrong with uh, Grogu. The Grogu Swishmallow does, even in used condition, does $30 to $35 consistently. So also at the, uh, at the Goodwill, I picked up this book, uh, Teaching Yoga. Um, again, my process for books is I use Scout IQ. Uh, that tells me whether or not the book is worth selling on Amazon. Um, since I don't have a large Amazon lot going out this week, I also then scan it on eBay. Uh, this book gets about $10 to $11, um, which, you know, since I pay a dollar for the book, I'm going to make three or four bucks. It's not a big deal. I simply put in a padded mail or put a label on it and I'm done. Um, I also found this. This is Ghost Stories. I'd never heard of this before, but it is sealed. It's a DVD sealed in the box. Um, this goes for about... Uh, 18 to 19 dollars i think if i remember correctly um brand new uh and sells pretty consistently i paid i was supposed to pay 3.99 but she charged me 4.99 so even still when you put all of this together uh, i spent ten dollars and fifty cents um so between all of this i'll probably make 60 to 70 bucks uh in profit so that was thrifting on friday yard sale season has officially started for us uh here in the northeast um, so we did our second yard sale week. Um, we kind of burned out our local area, so we went to another area uh, nearby to a couple of community sales, and this is what we picked up. Um, we picked up this lot over here of Skylanders and Xbox 360 games. Uh, I paid $20 for the whole lot. Now, there's not a lot of good titles in here. I basically did it for two reasons. Number one, I knew I had profit to work from. Uh, from thrifting on Friday uh, and I wanted to help her out because she says I just want the stuff gone We'd originally agreed on ten dollars for the games, which you know Maybe I can get ten dollars worth of value out of it um, But I mainly got it for the Skylanders what I've done is I've got uh, previously in a previous week uh, I got a bunch of the portals uh, For the different games along with the game that they come with uh, so I'm trying to build the starter packs uh, for those minus the original boxes, so I'm hoping somewhere in this lot um, of Skylanders, I'll find those and then I can sell that. Individually, uh, the Skylanders don't sell for very much. Uh, the games and the portals really don't sell for a lot, but if I can bundle up an original starter set minus the box, I should be able to do 25 per starter set. Uh, so that would be 75 for the three. Plus it also came with uh, two strategy guides. Again, these were used by kids, so they're not in perfect condition, but again, People aren't buying these to collect. People are buying these to play. So I don't mind paying uh, a little bit more for a used book uh, just because that's what they're going to use it for anyway. Next up, we have this box. Um, this is a box of random stuff. Uh, you can see right there. And the reason I bought it, number one, it said make offer. So the first lady that came out um, said $20. And I'm like, no. Uh, so they hemmed and hauled about it for a little bit more and then they came down to $5. So $5 for this box. Now the main reason I bought it uh, was because if you remember a few weeks ago, uh, I got a bunch of G.I. Joe figures uh, for free. And basically complete, in, complete figures like this or partial figures like just these legs. Um, but believe it or not, even the partial figures do really well. So. Across this box, and it is just a hodgepodge of stuff. There's a few Star Wars figures in here from the 90s, uh, Return of the Jedi. Um, there's a few, uh, you know, little green army men figures. So, I mean, it's, it's a hodgepodge of stuff, but I mainly got it for the G.I. Joe figures. I figured G.I. Joe figures, I made about 500 bucks 
uh, on that set of G.I. Joe stuff that I got for free a few weeks ago. So I figured there's got to be at least five dollars worth of value in there. So I'm going to part that out, separate out all the legs, sell the legs separately, sell the torso separately, sell the completed figure separately. Uh, and I should be able to, to do really well on that. So the next yard sale we went to, uh, there was a guy that was in negotiation for a PS3 and a bunch of games. They wanted $75 or best offer. Well, he was hemming and hawing. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I can do it. Let me go see if I can get some money out of the ATM. So they set it aside for him. And in the course of that conversation, I heard them say, do you like old retro games? I'm like, do you have any? She's like, yeah, we've got some old Nintendo games. So I said, okay, well, let's take a look. Now, again, nothing fantastic here. Nothing to write home about. Um, Tetris, Tecmo Super Bowl, Baseball Stars, Mario Duck Hunt. Um, again, nothing fantastic, but I wanted to keep the conversation going uh, to see if that kid ever did come back um, and to show her that I was serious. So I paid her $10 for that stack. That's $2.50 a game. Not terrible. Again, in my head, I'm processing all the profit that I've made prior to this transaction to see whether or not that makes sense. So I went ahead and gave her 10 bucks. I haven't heard back from her. If I do, I'll follow up with you and let you know. So that was that yard sale. And that kind of wrapped up the day except for one that we saw on the way home, which we stopped at, which was a guy who buys storage sheds. So I'm hoping that his goal was get rid of the stuff and don't worry about the price. I found this game, River King, uh, for the PS2. It is complete in box. Uh, the disc is in really good shape. No damage to the disc. Um, Natsume makes good artwork, so I figured this was worth something. This sells for about 25 bucks. It's a, it's a terrible game, but it sells for about 25 bucks on eBay. So I went ahead and bought it, paid a dollar. Um, and then finally, they will always be the Redskins to me. I bought this uh, kind of um, Hoggett statuette, uh, Santa Claus, Hoggett, Redskins thing. Again, paid a dollar for this. This sells for about 50 bucks. Um, plus, they pay shipping. So I should be able to do really well on that. Hey guys, Future Steve here. Uh, I just want to let you know, I was sitting here editing this video when I noticed that one of the Hoggett's ears was broken off. Now, I didn't notice that when I bought it. I didn't notice it when I filmed it. I only noticed it when I went back and looked at the editing. So, even though I showed you that this sells for about 50 bucks, uh, I'm probably only going to sell it for like 20 uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's broken, and I'll make sure that I advertise that it's broken. Number two, uh, I only paid a dollar. So, if they're paying shipping and I get 20 bucks... I'm still making $15, $16 on top of the dollar that I spent. Uh, and it'll sell faster if it's significantly cheaper. So uh, even though I said 50, that's not what I'm gonna sell it for just because of that defect. Anyway, I just wanna let you guys know, uh, I'm not being deceptive. I'm simply not observant when I'm buying. I get excited, I see something for a dollar. I see it sells for 50. I don't give it the hairy eyeball that I should sometimes. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to let you know that I saw that so I don't get comments telling me you missed this. Anyway, back to the video. So this is everything that I got from today. Um, let me know what you think. Did I do good? Did I do bad? I don't want to hear any comments, although I'll probably get them about I took advantage of people. Everybody here set the price. Um, I did not come up with any prices. Uh, so what they offered, it, what they wanted is what they got for the most part. I mean, this, I told them no at 20. They came down to five. I didn't say five. They said five, so I bought it. Um, but that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what your favorite find is for the day, uh, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more content. Now that yard sale season's back in swing, we're going to be doing a lot more content a lot more often. So that's it. That's it for today. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.